Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I want to share with you an Adobe Acrobat action that will automate highlighting terms that you search for across PDFs. The first thing I found is this action that was created for Acrobat 10, and I use Acrobat 11. In this step-by-step, -step, the instructions say to edit the action, and I can't edit the action because I have 11. I can't edit an Acrobat 10 action. So I recreated the action in Acrobat 11, and in doing so, I decided to change a few things. I have a small list of PDF files here, and we're going to use search terms and search across these PDFs and automatically highlight everywhere where it finds a term. We're starting with Adobe Acrobat, and we're going to click on Tools, and then we're going to go to the Action Wizard. We're going to go to Manage Actions, and then I'm going to import my action sequence. It's warning me that it has JavaScript, which I already know, and it's telling me where to find it. Here's my new action sequence that I've just imported. We're going to edit it. It has a couple of steps in it that we will walk through right now. We're going to have it use the default of letting us choose which files in the beginning. This message was added to warn the user that even though we're going to use Adobe Redaction to mark the terms, we're actually not going to redact anything. This search and remove text is a redaction feature. We're going to click on this and then specify settings. We're going to enter the search terms once within this action. It will use the same search term list to search across every PDF file. You can enter one word at a time and then click add, or in this case, we're going to import a list of search terms. Here is our list of search terms that I've imported. We're going to click OK. Now the rest of the action sequence will run automatically, but while I'm here, I'm going to show you a few things. If we click on this JavaScript feature and then specify settings, this is the JavaScript. Up here at the top, is this option color yellow. If you want to use a different highlight color, you can just edit the yellow to another color. I searched for you to find out what all the other colors are that you can use in JavaScript within Adobe Acrobat, and here's a list of all the colors. Transparent will probably not be helpful. Black is not helpful but there are definitely some other colors here that you might want to use. I wanted to let you know that you can edit that option if you want to. I also made some changes under the Save option so that it will save the highlighted versions with a suffix instead of overriding the original file. You can edit the suffix to whatever you want. I just wanted to let you know that you have this ability. We're going to click Save, and we're going to click Close. Now within the Action section, the action appears right here. We're going to click on it. The first step is to add the files, so we're going to add a folder. We're going to select the PDFs folder right here, and then click OK. So it's added a list of the files. Here they are over here, so you can see the folder. Once we have Acrobat appointing to all the files, we're ready to start the action. And as you can see, it is running through each file one at a time. You can see it's switching from redaction marks to highlighted text. If a word is already highlighted for another reason, it will highlight it again so that all of your search hits are accounted for. 
The action sequence has finished running. It has checked off all the steps down here, and it has checked off all the files up here. It leaves the last file open. Let's close the action and close the file. Here's a list of the files, and every file has a new file with a suffix called highlighted. If I open this file, you'll see a bunch of the terms have been highlighted. So it did this pretty quickly across all of the PDF files. I hope we can put this tip to good use.